I'm sure you've heard of the saying, I'm not where I used to be, but I'm also not where I want to be either. This got me thinking about the whole perspective around honoring the space between no longer and not yet. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, I've been doing a lot of introspection lately, and I've just been thinking more intentionally and deeply about some things. And I was like, well, if I'm thinking about it, some of y'all are also thinking about it or need to be thinking about it. And I was thinking about this idea of no longer and not yet. And I've mentioned before that yet is probably one of my favorite words, Y-E-T, in the English language because it speaks to the possibilities. It speaks to the unlimited possibilities of what is to come, what is in the future, what can happen. And it just opens up the floor for it to be more creativity and expansiveness and create space because anything can happen at any given time. And so when I was thinking about this concept, I thought that I wanted to talk to you guys about why it's important to reflect on your whole entire process. I gave you guys that saying of I'm not where I used to be, but I'm also not where I want to be either, right? And it's a very interesting saying. We say it so much all the time, we don't really sit down and let it soak in and think about what that truly means. Saying we're not where we used to be helps you to reflect on the past, to reflect on where you've been, (laughs) what you've been through, what you've put up with, what you've overcome, what you've accomplished, what you've succeeded in. It really lets you be focused on the past. And we oftentimes like don't focus on the past, but sometimes you need to think about the past in order to figure out where you're going to be going in the future. So thinking about where you have been is an eye opener because a lot of us, mine included, have been some places, have been through some things that I probably can't even tell y'all yet. And it's important to know that those things served a purpose. Those things didn't happen just for the sake of happening. It wasn't just by happenstance. It wasn't just by circumstance. I believe that everything that happens in this world is intentional. And it's important for us to understand the power of why the past has and serves a purpose. Now, the other element of being, oh, I'm also not where I want to be either, speaks about the future, speaks about that possibility, speaks about what is ahead, speaks about the things that are yet to come and it allows us to create a pathway to say, okay, I'm not where I used to be, but I want more. I want better relationships. I want more money. I want a better career. I want a healthier relationship with my kids or my spouse. I want to be healthier in my body. I want to work out more, eat cleaner, whatever your thing is. It speaks to the possibility of that happening if you keep going and pushing forward. And I think Those two elements are beautiful, right? The past is important for us to reflect on that, but also having some life goals and things to accomplish and being ambitious to work towards something is important as well. The thing that really got me thinking very intentionally and deeply about is the space between these two. Right, we got this, this, but what's what's happening all up in here? (laughs) What's happening all up in here? And this got me thinking about honoring the space between no longer that past and not yet the future. So this space in between really speaks about the journey. The space in between speaks about the present moment. It speaks about what us therapists call the here and the now, the present moment, which is something that we will never, ever, ever, ever get back. And that's why it's important for us to seize the moment, seize this moment, seize today, give it all you got, because literally a second from now is going to be the past. A day from now, today is going to be the past. A week from now, today is going to be the past. There's no time like the present. And I think if we live that intentionally, we will truly understand and soak in the fact that you will never get this moment back again, ever. You can't rewind and be like, oh, let me go back to yesterday at two o'clock. You will never get this present moment again. So it's kind of like, well, what are you doing today? How are you maximizing it? How are you doing what God told you to do? How are you showing up? How are you being consistent? How are you being a good person? How are you being kind? How are you being joyous? How are you being, how are you being fill in the blank? 
that's about living intentionally. So like today matters. So before we go back to the past and be like, shoulda, coulda, woulda, I shoulda did this when I was 10. And you know, I got pregnant early and that made me not be able to evolve in my career faster. And I shoulda done this and I coulda, shoulda, woulda, 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 all of those things before we get swallowed up in the past with our mistakes and our shortcomings and our offenses and all of those things. But also before we get too future focused, because I've been there too, where it's just like grind, 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 grinding all my life, grinding all my life, hey, sacrifice, it, 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 whatever Nipsey Hussle said. <laughs> get so future focused and so ambitious and so caught up on what's next, what's coming next, what I gotta do next, what's the next opportunity, what's the next bag, what's the next YouTube video, what's the next thing that I'm just like, bro, I'm missing spending quality time with myself, with my family, with my friends, enjoying what I have now. The interesting thing about this, because I wanna share my final thoughts because it's a wrap. The thing is that when you rush, you don't honor the journey. You don't honor that space between because what this journey and what's happening in between here is, it's building your character. It's building your resistance. It's building your endurance. It's building your personality. It's building all of the things that you need to have on the inside of you to sustain what you're going to get in the future. I've seen a million and one times, and you've seen it too, where celebrities, they get quick money right? They might get a deal. They might be a rapper. They might get a, you know, NFL deal or whatever you want to call it, signed to uh, the NBA or NFL or some major league situation. And they haven't developed the character, the endurance, the personality, what they need in order to sustain that thing. And they ruin it. They blow all of their money. They out here in these streets. They're taking advantage of women. They're making poor life choices. They're hanging with the wrong crowd. They're doing all of these things. And you're like, bro, you got it all. Sis, you got it all. But in all actuality, they didn't have enough process and enough journey for the negative, the bad things, the mature, the immaturity actually to be worked out of them. So when they get here, they can sustain it. Because that's the name of the game. You want to sustain what you got. What's the point of getting to where you need to get to and you lose it all? That is raggedy. We don't want to do that. And so sustainability and being able to maintain and sustain and then keep going up, maintain and sustain and keep going up to the next level. That's what we really want to do here. You want So you want to have that stamina. You don't want to take the present moment for granted, even though it feels difficult, it feels hard. You don't want to go through this. You feel like it's just team too much. You can't take another blow. You can't take another hit. You can't take another step because life has been beating your behind down. I'm telling you, the journey is where you figure out what you are made of. The journey is where you figure out what you are made of. So don't be too much in a rush to dissect the past and wallow in all of the mistakes and the negative things that has happened in your life. And don't be too quick to focus on the future and be so caught up on what's to come because we really don't even know what's to come. Nobody knows the future like that, but God. But missing the moment where you're saying, this is where I am being built. This is where I'm being established. This is where I'm being rooted. This is where I'm being grounded so I can be able to sustain all of the amazing things that God has coming my way. So look, thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I hope and pray that something I said in this video was helpful to you. Listen, if you enjoyed this and if you know somebody who needs to hear this message, just share it with them. That's all I ask. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of the weekly episodes that I have coming your way. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.